we're doing, we're trying to kill a crab. Let's try to see if we can kill a crab. So how do you hold a crab? The first thing um, important is um, to get yourself a glass of wine. So if anything happened, drink up and you'll feel better. Um, if you're afraid to hold a crab, get a tong and you can pick the crab up. This one is half asleep. Um, you know, but eventually it will wake up. The best way is to flip it upside down. See, it's waking up now. Um, then it's less mobile. If you put it this way, see, they're going to go away. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah, that's a demonstration of how the crab is going to escape. There you go. See, you want to flip it upside down. So how are you going to hold it? Never hold it from the front. That's where the claw is going to get you. You hold it from the back, from the bottom because the claw cannot come down. See, it's, it, it, it's a distance before it can come down. So this is what you do. Um, what do you need? Tools. You need an ice pick. If you don't have an ice pick, you can improvise with a meat thermometer. How about that? As long as you've got a pointy end to it. Um, you need a brush to clean it. So we're going to talk about like Americans. Most Americans they get a pot of hot water, dump salt, and toss the crab into the water. Um, that's not what Chinese do. The reason is, I always say this as disgusting as it sounded like. Um, if you toss it into the hot water, uh, you know everything inside the crab is going to die with it. So excuse my French, but you know. If you kill it first, it's going to shit everything out. If not, it's going to be inside, in that hot pot of water, and you can eat it. <laughs> and, um, so this is what you do. Um, oh, there's another thing. How to, how to distinguish a uh, female and male. Let me find a female for you. Where's my female crab? Here. Give us a female crab. So what's the difference? You see the bottom part. Look at this round. So that's female. Oh, I thought this was going to die. This is not alive. Um, and then for the male, is pointy. So right there, that's pointy, so that's a male. So usually for commercial fishing, if I, if I am correct, um, you can only get male. You cannot catch female. But then for you two, if you do crab fishing, which that's what I did this afternoon, that you use a fishing pole to catch them, you, you actually you can catch female. So this is the female. Um, the difference between the, the meats, the female is not as firm compared to male. So if you want to eat crab, actually male is better. So how are you going to keep clean this? Um, first, you take this ice pick, and this thing is going to work. And don't, don't, don't be too afraid of it. Don't toss it, okay? So just try to poke, poke this flap open. I don't know what it's called. Um, in Chinese, we call it the yin zai, you know, because that's where the flap in Chinese is. So as, as soon as you can poke this open a little bit, you find the pointy part right there, and that's where you can kill that crab right away. Just like that. So in fact, that is the most humane way of killing a crab, see? And then, you pull this down, and watch this. So this is what it's very, very important to do. So when you tear this part off, everything's going to come out. So those are the juice you don't want. You don't want that. And that's why the way Chinese cook the crab is more fresh and taste sweeter of that crab meat. There you go. And now the crab is not, it's dead. So in a way, it's way more humane than causing it into a hot pot of water. So now, what are you going to do? Water, take a brush, and then you clean it. You have to clean it very, very thorough um, because crab is on the bottom of this ocean. So there's a lot of mud as you can see there. So you have to, you know, really brush it out. Um, one thing is, one thing very important is, um, even though the crab is dead now, but you know, it still may have some nerves. So there's one time 
you know, the crab, after I killed it, it was sitting there for a couple minutes because I killed 14 crabs. And I grabbed it and it pinched me because the nerve wasn't dead yet. And so, um, sure enough, that, that was uh, quite painful. But <laughs> um, yeah, so you just brush it out, clean everything, um, you know, clean out all the sand, all the mud, you know, give it a really good shower. And then how are you going to do that is then you can, you know, you just let it stand a little bit. And then you can put it in a pot and steam it. So that's what I want to do is you always steam the crab so that uh, none of the juice, none of the sweetness, the, 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 the flavor from the crab itself is going to remain inside. And so when you steam it, just steam it for a size like this. This one is just about a pound, or one pound. Um, just steam it for about 10-15 minutes, depending on how big your crab is. Usually, I'll say, you know, in the safe size, 12 to 15 minutes is good for one pounder. Uh, for a pound and a half, I would say about 15 minutes. And if you have a two pound, I'll say at least 18 minutes to see it. And, and then after that, and then, and then after that, how are you going to open it? Uh, a lot of people say, oh, open it from the back, open it from the front. Those would be difficult. The easiest way, hold them on the side and open from the side right there. Open it from there. I'm not going to open it yet because I'm going to steam them. Um, so, but that's how you want to do it. Well, why not? You just open one. So you can open this. It's going to fight this nurse. Just like that, and you can see how beautiful they are. Um, I know a lot of Americans don't eat the middle part. We call it the crab butter. Those are the best cholesterol injection you want to have. Amazing, sweet, it's just great. I mean, you can cook it with um, pasta, you can, you know, but you eat it because it's so rich. What I highly recommend is to eat it with the Chinese um, balsamic, I call it the Chinese balsamic, actually it's an like aged vinegar, dark aged vinegar with ginger, or you can use white, uh, white rice vinegar with garlic, so those are good to eat with. And you need to take all this off, you know, these are all the bad stuff. And then right here it says stomach, you want to take that out also. So you see those little white curly thing right there, you don't want them. You can dump them. And, uh, and then you peel this off. Peel the mouth. Peel the mouth off. And after you steam it, all you need is just to take a cleaver, cut it in half, or you can even just pluck it. You can even just break it, you know, back and forth two times, and you can break it. And again, this is the most beautiful part. And so here, one thing you do want to do is to take a scissor and cut the middle part out. So you can cut this middle part out because you see this red part in there? That's the lung, which you don't want. Um, but the yellow, yellow crab butter, again, those are the best, best cholesterol to eat. But this is the part that you want to get out. So you take this part out, toss it. And all this red stuff in there, you clean those red, red thing out of the metal. Um, I don't know what those called, but I call it crab butter. <laughs> and um, you know, I can rinse it out a little bit so that you can see it more. But usually we don't rinse it. Because it will be cooked already, so 